What's up guys, I'm Chris here, back in another video, and it's been a while since I made a video, but today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different, and I'm gonna be telling you guys about 5G. Now, what exactly is 5G? I'm pretty sure if you guys have been watching the news, 5G is supposed to be the next big thing of technology, but 5G is more bigger than that. I'm pretty sure if you guys have a smartphone, any modern day phone, you guys notice the 4G LTE symbol or 3G symbol on the side or corner of your phone. Basically, each G stands for the connectivity or speed of that generation of technology that's compatible with it. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys remember 1G allowing us to call on phone calls on those big bulky phones. 2G allowed us to make phone calls and send text messages. 3G allowed us to send text messages, make phone calls, and browse the web. And 4G allowed us to do it a lot faster, bringing home smart home. And coming right next, it's 5G. Now, 5G isn't just a step up or anything. It's supposed to be crazy different. It's supposed to change how we live life, and it's also supposed to change how we communicate with people. Now, imagine a world where everything and everyone is connected to each other at all times, in real time no matter what, non-stop. Like imagine your car being connected to your house or your cars connecting with each other while they're passing, telling each other data about the next accident or a police being right around the corner. That is huge and it's crazy. But as crazy and scary as that sounds, we're already closer to that future to begin with. With Google Assistant and Smart Home already being out, we're able to tell our homes basically what to do by saying, okay, Google, or hey, Alexa, can you turn off the lights? We're basically able to, you know, control our houses and pretty soon control our cars with these simple commands. Imagine watching a doctor save a life on the other side of the world using robotics in real time using a VR machine. That is going to be wild. But as we're inching closer and closer to this reality, a lot of problems have striking up, such as the loss of privacy with Amazon basically spying on us and all of its other customers. Now, if you have the smart home Alexa and you haven't been paying attention to the news, Alexa has been spying and recording conversations of its customers and employees. And here's an article about this. Even Google and other companies like it have admitted to keeping our data and selling it for a profit. So imagine if we're all connected to each other and the data that we spread across the world, will it be our data? Will it be our privacy or will it be everyone else's? And these are some of the concerns that a lot of people have been questioning with 5G rolling out. Now, another problem with 5G is it's very, very expensive. Now, if you have a smartphone, a TV, a PlayStation, anything that's connected to the internet, it all falls under a frequency spectrum, typically six gigahertz. With more and more devices and more and more people trying to connect to carriers today, Scientists need to find a way to connect these newer devices and stronger, better devices on a more powerful scale on the frequency wave. They're basically using something called a millimeter wave that falls under 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz to put more devices in for 5G to roll out. The main reason why they're called millimeter waves is because of how short and how sensitive they are. They can't really travel through bad weather such as thunderstorms or anything like that. They can't really travel through walls either, which calls for more hardware and antennas for more crowded areas or places like cities. With China being the leading nation of 5G technology research under the company Huawei, if you're familiar with it, they're popular for making smartphones, but they're also pioneers or they're also the companies who are pushing 5G research. With Huawei being banned in America not too long ago, America is pretty much on their own when it comes to 5G research. At the end of the day, I just hope things clear up and with technology changing so quickly, so is the world and the way humans interact with it. But leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Anyways guys, I'm Ryan here, Chris, and I'll be back with another video. Peace.